Okay guys, hotel recommendation time for the city of Bunkan. I've stayed in two different hotels in the city. I have a full review on each one. They're both listed in the blog post, link in the video description. I'm gonna go through the basics on both of these hotels and decide which one I would stay at my next visit to Bunkan. Uh, the first hotel we stayed at is called The One Hotel. It is a good size hotel for such a small city actually. Uh, it's got an, a go to rating of 8.1 out of 10 which is really good. Considered 4 stars I think that's optimistic, maybe 3 stars would be more appropriate. And I paid four hundred, uh, sorry, 946 baht for the night including breakfast for 2. The breakfast here was really good. Lots of selection, everything piping hot. The food was was really, really good. The room itself was nice. Uh, bed nice and comfortable. It's not a fantastic looking bed, but uh, it's comfortable, pillows comfortable, everything uh, was, was very good. This hotel is in very good shape. It's not that old and uh, everything there worked. Customer service, I gave it five out of five. Very professional from the time uh, we walked in until we checked out. No issues there. There is a swimming pool here. It's more like a water park. Even if you're not staying at this hotel, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure you can go and use the water park. You have to pay to get in. I don't know how much that would be. But a great place to uh, spend on a hot afternoon, that's for sure. There's a restaurant and bar there as well. There's a gym beside the hotel. Uh, I don't know if you can pay to get in there. I assume you can. Normally you can. Uh, this hotel is located right next to Tesco out on the highway the, the road that runs parallel to the river which is right on the edge of the city uh, the second hotel we stayed at is called Century Grand it's on the same road opposite side opposite side of the road this is an older hotel some work has been done on it the lobby and the front of the hotel looks pretty good our room was quite old, didn't look that bad, but uh, lots of loose floor tiles, especially in the shower. Uh, it was, it needs some work, that's for sure. Uh, this hotel has a rating of 7.4 out of 10 and three stars. No swimming pool here, uh, no breakfast included. We paid 450 baht for the night, so it's really cheap. Uh, if you need a cheap place to stay, this is it. It's uh, can't argue with the price. That's for sure. Customer service, I gave it three out of five. And that's being generous. They weren't very welcoming at all. They weren't very friendly. Check-in was slow and painful. Parking is out back. There's not a lot of parking. If the hotel was busy. Parking would be an issue, that's for sure. Uh, no, uh, no tea and coffee making supplies here, but there wasn't at the other hotel either. Uh, so getting to which hotel would I stay at, and I think even though there are a, quite a few, I wouldn't say a bunch of hotels, there's a few hotels in Bunkan, I think the only one worth staying at, or uh, where I would think anybody should check first is the one. The one hotel, it is nice, it's modern, everything there is new, the price is good, the location, the facilities, everything is good. And for 946 baht for the night, including breakfast for two, you can't argue with the price. Although all the other ones are around 450, 500 a night that I've seen. So, uh, you know the choice is yours if it was up to me if I go back that's where I'll be staying the one uh, still good value for money even though there's cheaper in town alright guys that is it that is my hotel recommendation based on the two hotels I stayed at in the city uh, 
you can check out the the blog post link in the video description my agoda affiliate link is in there you can check out these two hotels or book any hotel in the world through that link all right guys as always thanks for watching i do appreciate it